In this video, let us solve problems based on construction of a histogram of a continuous grouped frequency distribution with unequal class intervals. Note this again with unequal class intervals. This is based on the steps showed in the previous video. Let us solve a problem. So here we have the problem now, which says represent the following data by means of histogram. Weekly wages in rupees, the rupees is grouped as 10 to 15 rupees, 15 to 20 rupees, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. The problem is here now. Now from 25 to 30, which is a class interval of 5 rupees, the size of the class interval being 5 rupees, we've jumped to 30 to 40 rupees, 40 to 60 rupees and 60 to 80 rupees, where the class interval, the size of the class interval becomes from 5 rupees to 10 rupees and from 10 rupees to 20 rupees. So obviously, the frequency is not going to be proportionate. For every 5 rupees, if you have an increase, then it's fine. But then when we suddenly have a range of 30 to 40 and 40 to 60, of course, there may be more people or less people, but one thing for sure is the frequency is not going to be proportionate. And we may not get a very proportionate histogram. So what we have to do here is adjusted frequency of a class. So here is... So this is where we need to adjust the frequency of a class. So we need to get it proportionate to the other class. So here we need to consider the smallest class interval, which is 5 year. So now let us adjust the frequency. So this H, which is the class size, we need to choose the minimum class size. Here it's 5. And this class size is each and every class size that we have to choose. So choosing the first one, we get 5 by 5, and the frequency of the class is 7. So we have 7 here. So this frequency is fine because we are taking the frequency with, with reference to the size of the class interval 5. So here we have no problems. So similarly, let us find out the adjusted frequency for each of the every observation here. So 10 to 15 it is 7. So 15 to 20 also it's going to be 5 by 5 into 9. Therefore it's going to be 9. So I'll show it to you here. 5 by 5 into 9, which is going to be 9. This is for 15 to 20. Now, this was for 10 to 15. And then let's do 20 to 25. 20 to 25, we have again just 5. So, it's 5 by 5 into 8. So, we have 8 again. Let us do 25 to 30. 25 to 30 is again the class size is 5, so it's 5 by 5 into 5, which gives us 5. Let's go to 30 to 40. Now, here is the twist or the difference. The class size is 10, so the minimum is 5, but the class size of the taken observation is 10, and that is into 12. So here we have 5, 2 times is 10, and 2, 6 times is 12. So we have 6 here, and then we have 40 to 60. 40 to 60 is again, the class size is 20. So we take 5 by 20 into 12. So we have 5, 4 times is 20, 4, 3 times is 12. So we have 3 here. And then the final one, which is 60 to 80, we have 20 again, the class size. So we have 5 by 20 into 8. So 5 goes 4 times in 20 and 4 goes 2 times in 8. We have a frequency of 2. And this is the first one. So in all, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now that we've got the adjusted frequencies, that is 9, 8, 7, 5, 2, 6, 3. Of course, I didn't tell it in the order, but the order goes like this. 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 60, and 60 to 80. Now that we have the adjusted frequencies, we can go on to draw the graph or the histogram. So here we have the histogram. So the usual procedure to draw the histogram is have two mutually perpendicular lines, one horizontal and one vertical, one being x-axis and another being y-axis, OX being x-axis and OY being y-axis. So the OX is going to have weekly wages. That is the x-axis is going to have the weekly wages and the y-axis is going to have number of workers. So we have 10 to 15. So here we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30. Now we don't have 35, we have 40, so we need to go a little far. So here we have 40, 40 to 60, and 60 to 80. So here it just widens a little bit the base. So, and then on the y axis, we've got, okay, let me first write this 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 60, and 80. And then on the y axis, we've got the number of workers, the maximum number of workers being. 12 here, but then the adjusted frequency has only 9 as a max, so that's what we need to consider. So we take 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So now let us draw the histogram. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So the first one, 10 to 15, we've got 7, that is here. And the next one is 15 to 20, we've got 9. No changes in here, no adjusted frequencies because the size of the class is just 5. And then we've got 20 to 25, which is 8. And then we've got 25 to 30, which is 5. Now here is a base change because 30 to 40 becomes 10, the class size becomes 10. So we've got an adjusted frequency of 6 here. Here we are with a, with a slightly thicker base and then now the base again increases, it's 20, the class size is 20, 40 to 60 has got 3, so 3 is here somewhere. And the final one, 60 to 80, it's just 2. So here we have the histogram. The histogram of a continuous grouped frequency distribution but with unequal class intervals. So this is how we solve the problem based on construction of a histogram of a continuous group frequency distribution with unequal class intervals.